tasty rib roll. Welcome back to another, actually this is a frigid episode of uh, Breakfast Water Outdoors. It's a bit chilly outside today on the west coast. Uh, it's, it's beautiful and sunny out, but a little cool. So what we're actually going to do is, I'm um, not in the grad state because it's a bit chilly down there. So I don't really want to turn the heat on down there and it's expensive. And if you're people in Ontario, like I live on the west coast, but people in Ontario under the wind government, man, I don't even know how you guys can afford to heat your house. I was back there and... Uh, just talking to everybody and parents and stuff. It's just ridiculous how much you guys pay for heat. Anyway, enough of the uh, heat rant. What we're going to do today is we're going to turn this Play-Doh Tackle Box I picked up at um, Cabela's here in Nanaimo. 50% off. I don't know if this deal is still going to be on when you see this video, but if anybody's looking for new, some new boxes or anything, 50% off is a smoking deal. So I picked up, um, this is like the inhibitor. It has like a rust protection in it. So what we're going to do with this box is we're actually going to turn it into uh, my ice fishing jig box. I've seen it done online and I like the concept so I'm going to do a very similar one. I'm going to change a few things but I'm going to do a very similar idea. So maybe they'll give you some ideas. You can use it for, um, for your own DIY project. I just want to give you a tip. If you happen to work inside your house, make sure you clean up the mess because my girlfriend, she doesn't really ever watch these videos, but if she found out I was working on her nice living room uh, table, she would not be impressed. So make sure you clean up your mess. Uh, if you do any DIY projects or anything like that, fishing related inside the house, it'll keep your life happier, trust me. The things you're gonna need for this project, pool noodle, plain old tackle box, whatever layout you like. I like this style because it gives this open section for maybe bigger spoons or different type of layout. And then it's got the traditional um, compartments in it. Comes with a bunch of dividers. I'm not too sure exactly what I'm gonna do with the dividers yet. Some are pretty big, some are small. So it gives you a, it gives you a variety. So you can see here, whoops. Let's try this again. So you can see here, we got some little ones, big ones. So we're going to have to sort of plan our layout. You need a cutting board to cut the pool noodle on. And then this one also comes with these rust inhibitors. So I'm going to throw these rust inhibitors in the bottom of each compartment. Scissors. Sharpie. Leatherman for cutting. So that's really all you need to do this project. So the first step is you're going to take your pool noodle and you're going to cut it in half. So I've already cut this one in half. And the nice thing about this one is it's actually a joiner piece, so it's pretty thin. But the only thing that sucks is it's got these holes, and I wish it was solid. It would be a lot better. But I basically, you know, it took forever to find a pool noodle. In the wintertime, it's not going to be easy tracking a pool noodle unless, like, there's a specific pool type of store in your town or whatever. But I think I went to, like, three stores before I found this. And it was, like, the last one on the shelf. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of plan it out, measure it out, how I sort of want to put this in there. And then uh, I'll show you what I did. All right, so we cut our first piece. Now basically we're gonna measure to make sure this thing fits in there. Now. I did this with another piece and like anyone who knows me, I'm not the best DIY guy. Like I shouldn't be around electrical stuff or anything like that. It's, just, it's not safe. So, uh, and usually I never do anything. It always takes two or three times for some reason to get it. So hopefully the second time we try this is a charm. So you want this thing to fit tight in here.
Okay, so because this, this piece, like I say, it'd be perfect if it was a little bit longer, but, so I want it to be tight fitting in here. So, there. So, basically, what I did is, I cut the pool noodle, and I wanted, because it's not big enough, so I had to make another section for it to fit. So we got that, so that'll work there, that compartment's done. And then with our spare pieces, I don't even know if we have enough, we're going to fill some of these boxes here. So that actually fits perfect. So you can see here, I inserted the foam into this box from the pool noodle. I didn't feel all the holes. I think I might keep two of these open. Um, I mean, some people I've seen them glue it down, but I think I'm just gonna keep it like this for now. I might glue it down, like I say, it'd be perfect if I had a longer sheet, but I just compacted them in so they fit nice and tight. And then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna put the spoons in here. Okay, you can see we got our first compartment built. Crack the pla the stupid foam, so I don't know what happened there, but anyways, we marked our spots out, and then it's super easy, we can just Boom, drop our spoons in there. Keeps them nice. Uh, let's see, we got some more here. Just toss them in there. I put it on a 45, so you can close the box easy. You don't have to worry about any issues with the spoons not fitting. And then the nice thing is it looks super nice in there, right? So we're gonna finish this off, and then we're gonna fill the rest full of spoons and some perch jigs. I just finished my DIY ice fishing box. So this is what it looks like inside. So I got all the spoons laid out nice, nice. Um, I spaced them out. You can put different size spoons. If, you, if you're using bigger spoons, you're probably gonna wanna get a deeper box. But for my application, this works perfect. So I got all my spoons laid out, I like the little cleels. I got some perch, some trout fly, some bigger spoons. In here I can put, just throw odds and ends. Um, the only thing I need to get for this is I need some new Spro swivels because I always like to change, like it's quick to change, right? So just quick swivel, snap a new lure on, away you go. Also too, if you tie direct, always cut off the little tag and it's a good time to go through your tackle. And if your spoons are all banged up, I usually wash them. If you need to change any hooks, change the hooks. And you're pretty much good to go for the ice fishing season. Now, what makes this box idea really great is that once you close it, everything's in there nice, nice, very visual. You can see everything. And if it bangs around on the trail, shakes up and down, whatever, you open her up. Everything is still nice, neat in place. The finish on the spoons never bangs against the plastic, so they don't get dulled up. So um, I think this is a great box for the winter time we got everything in there that we need and now we're ready to head out ice fishing well thanks for watching brax water outdoors diy ice tackle box uh video i hope you guys enjoyed it and you know what if you guys got any creative ideas or anything like that let me know for tackle boxes or things just to make anything simpler in your shop or in your boat or whatever and post them below or send me a link or something to it and i'll look at them and maybe i'll be able to do some of them for uh, for my vote or implement them. All right. Thanks for watching. And remember, live your passion.